hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm so happy that you're here make sure that you like subscribe and comment let me know what you want to see more of on my channel um and i'm so excited that you're here with me today so let's get right into it today we're going to have business ideas part two but this is going to be the student edition so i'm so excited about this because i myself am a student i know how the hustle can be i know how rough it can be how difficult it might be for you to work and juggle school and your lectures and your assignments and exams all at the same time. Um, I know because I used to do that as well, but right now I'm just trying to concentrate on uni and not have to have a job on top of that as well. So, one thing that I want to start with, there's so many things you can do. If you're in uni, you can actually get a job at your university. And the benefit of this is, they understand your flexibility obviously they know you're a student they know you've got lectures so what they actually allow you to do is opt into jobs that you can do so they'll send you jobs you choose the ones that you can do when you're whenever you're free so for example you might have a week where there's induction a week that maybe you only go to uni on a Tuesday Wednesday Thursday you can do Monday Friday do the induction whatever it is and that's more money into your pocket that's just a side hustle for you to be able to do and the benefit of having a student job um, at your uni is that they actually give you that opportunity other jobs outside of uni they might not understand they might not be as flexible you might end up finding yourself having to have a half day at uni and then go finish the rest of the day at work every day nine to you know maybe not nine to five but they might make you cover the rest of the day um, just because they don't want to lose money as well so that's how it is so student job is always a good thing to look for look out for find out at your uni what you can do how you can get yourself a little bit extra cash it's the better way to do it to be honest so the second thing I'm going to talk about are affiliate programs okay affiliate programs a lot of people don't notice these things on so many websites like for example if you shop at um, Shein, Fashion Nova, Wish.com, um, Boohoo, there's all of these different affiliate programs. Amazon also does affiliate programs and I'm going to explain this to you a little bit. Each affiliate program is different so you need to find out about that particular one and find the one that suits you better but I'll talk to you about a few that I've actually, I'm actually part of myself. So for example, um, what it is at the bottom of the website it will say affiliate um, you can be an affiliate as a personal brand, affiliate as a YouTuber, affiliate as a social media um, influencer, whatever you know works better for you, whatever you identify yourself as. And what happens is you buy a product, they either give you a product for free or for a discounted price. Then you post that, um, that product on your social media, wearing it, so it can be a cap, it can be hair, it can be um, jewellery, it can be clothes, you know different stuff and you get a code so maybe 30% or 20% off for whoever purchases um, that product um, based on your link and then you get the rest of the money that's how it that's how it works um, depending on which affiliate program it is some do it a little bit differently some might give you 50% some might give you 30% some might give you 20 you know some might just give you the product only and no money so it just depends what um, suits you better and what you're looking for um, I'll leave some links down in the description to the ones that I've actually signed up for and that I see work um, because there's a lot that are there but they don't actually work so I'll send you the ones that I've seen that actually work um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is selling your skill a lot of people don't realise that you might actually have a skill that can benefit you whilst you're in uni so for example if you know how to do hair a lot of people in uni they want to save as much money as they can they don't want to waste money unnecessarily so if you are actually staying at in, in hostels or you've got an apartment or something or near uni it, it's such a good opportunity because so many young people there people want to get their eyebrows done every time every two three weeks people want to get their hair done every month people want to stay looking fresh they want to get their nails done learn stuff on youtube find out go to a, a short course see how to enhance it Started getting paid simple stuff I have a friend who started doing YouTube um, and she was doing people's hair she was charging people like 20 pounds for braids usually uh, braids well at least in the central can charge you from up to 40 pounds up to 100 pounds 120 pounds and someone is charging 40 pounds or 30 pounds you're gonna be quick to go get your hair done from that person and that person will just be getting more money in their pocket and it's something that you're doing in your own in the comfort of your own hostel or comfort of your own room you don't have to pay for you know rent to, 
to rent a room or rent anywhere, you're already staying in that place. People are just coming to you to get stuff done. Make sure you utilize that opportunity because there's so many customers that you can actually make a lot of money and maybe even build it up after you finish uni as well. Um, the third thing I want to talk about is cleaning out your closet. Okay, I'm somebody who's a very bad, very bad victim of this. I tend to hoard a lot of clothes, a lot of accessories, a lot of stuff, even hair. And I'm not even really a weave person, but I tend to hoard a lot of that. And then later on, I'm like, why do I have all this um, stuff? I just need to clear out stuff. And there's websites where you can actually sell your stuff and get money straight into your account. Stuff that you're not using anyway, so you might as well do that all the stuff maybe go buy yourself a few new things invest some of the money and then save some of the rest of the money so we're going to talk about that in another video but anyway so clearing out your closet i'll leave some links down in the description of websites that i personally have used myself and know that are legit and you can use it and actually get your money into account some websites are a little bit dodgy where they take a percentage like 20 30 percent of whatever amount so that's not good. We want ones that actually give you 100% of your money. Maybe you pay like 2% or something to the site. Um, like Depop, for example, is a good one. Facebook Market is a good one. Um, you know, eBay is a bit tricky because you have to pay eBay fees. You also have to pay PayPal fees. Um, but I'll get you a few different links for you to use. And the last one I'm going to talk about today is surveys. So people actually don't know surveys work. Okay. There's a lot of different surveys you can do where you actually get paid for them. Um, there was one survey that I did, I'll leave a link on the description as well. It paid me £225, no $225 actually for completing I think three surveys and I got $225, something like that. And it was cash into my bank account, no strings attached. And the thing with the surveys, you have to be careful because some of them are scams. Some of them will actually take money from your account because they usually ask you for your bank account details, or there's some that will ask you for a um, a lot of lot more information that you shouldn't even be giving out to anybody. So you have to be careful of those. So please make sure you actually review, read the reviews, watch the reviews, go on YouTube, see reviews for different um, surveys, see which ones work. But I will leave a couple as well in my description. So you guys can check it out as well and actually make some some extra cash the last 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 one i'm going to talk about is youtube okay so i've been doing youtube for a while i'm on and off not that consistent but i am being consistent now it's not something that pays you there and then it's something that has to be an investment you invest your time you invest your energy but it's more about somebody who is passionate about things and wants to give advice wants to actually pour out into people's lives as well so that's more what YouTube is about. It's not really for making money, but long term it can make you a lot of money, which obviously takes consistency and um, you know research, seeing what people want to know. And the most important thing is to just be yourself. If you want to start a YouTube channel, just be you. Don't copy anyone. Obviously, there's nothing new under the sun, but just like let your own personality flow out of the video. Not really trying to be someone that you're not. But um, yeah, so basically that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this business um, idea student edition for all my students out there. And um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and share. Leave a comment in the description. Let me know what more you want to see. Let me know what you're finding helpful. Make sure you follow me on my social media as well. On Facebook, Nicola Angel. On my uh, Twitter account, Nick, Real Nicola Angel. Instagram. I am Nicola Angel. I've got so many inspirational things on there and you can find out more about me and everything that I, I'm into as well. Um, so guys, thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.